This is a 4x4 seals video on how to remove an exhaust valve from either a OEM Itachi air suspension compressor or a Dunlop aftermarket air suspension compressor fitted to Land Rover Discovery 3.4 or Range Rover Sport for uh, years 2004 to 2011 stroke 12. Um, the first thing you need to note is obviously the Dunlops are quite a new compressor and they're relatively new so there's not much corrosion and the four torques, the four screws are M M5 tapped which are easier to remove than the T25 self-tapper type torque screws. Now these, because they're getting quite old, they can be seized and if you feel when you start to undo them they're really tight then you will need to apply heat on all four points to remove them and get them quite hot because if you try to force them they snap off quite easily. Uh, this particular type seemed to unscrew without a problem. Um, when you actually apply heat to these four points you have to be careful not to melt, start to melt this uh, air pipe. Um, so yeah that's something to take note. So first of all we need to remove the four screws on this particular Dunlop type. Um, <coughs> When you start to remove the last two, you'll feel the plate being pushed away by two large springs behind the plate. As you can see, when you remove the plate, um, there are the two springs. There is actually an inner and an outer spring. Sometimes there's a nylon collar around this inner spring, but sometimes it's missing, depending on what type of compressor you have. Uh, the, the next thing to note is there are two types of style of exhaust valve. There's the shouldered type, where you've got diameters on the exhaust valve that you can actually put long nose pliers on to, to remove. If you've got the tapered type, um, I tend to run an M6 tap down the centre so that I can screw in a M6 bolt and then I can pull out the exhaust valve on this particular type. Um, if possible, try to leave this o-ring in situ um, because as you remove it, as you can see now slightly, the o-ring is trying to grow in size and sometimes it's very difficult to put back in. So if you can leave this in situ, that, that is a good thing. So the next thing we need to do is actually remove the exhaust valve by pulling out the exhaust valve. Now, on the Dunlop type, they just have two O-rings for the seals and then they have an end pad, which is not, not a great design, as the original Itachi, they had proper seals fitted. They had a seal on it here, and then they have a seal fitted around this large o-ring and the, the pad in the end so this type is is a better type with the seals the other shouldered type also has the seals on um, our seal kit uh, fits the, the two types uh, basically and we do recommend possibly changing this particular exhaust valve for the exhaust valve with the seals on now each type is interchangeable with either compressor so uh, if you just take note of that point, that would be a good thing. Um, so the next video will be uh, showing you how to fit our 4x4 uh, seals piston piston seal kit uh, for an exhaust valve. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.